over here at the J Majors Barber Expo in the, right here in the Streets TV with Big Drew. You know what I mean? We out here doing it real big. You got anything you want to say to people, Drew High? It's going to be a very great day, and this event is definitely going to be crazy, and we're going to just have a good time, you know? If it was anything like last night, it's definitely going to be a good time. Oh, most definitely. Peace. In the streets. Thank you. you guys I got one. I got one. All right. Peace in the Streets TV. We back. We're here live at the Barber Expo out here in Connecticut. Big up to Jay Majors. I'm here with Mike Sharp. Yo, what's going on? In the Streets TV. We're here live. The battle hasn't even started yet, and it's crazy in here. We got my man and his educator, Tone McGill, also known as Tone Black on Instagram. My name is Mike Sharp. Listen, man, if you're not here, if you're not here right now, you're missing it, and you're not the nicest barber around. Make sure you hit my man Tone Black up on Instagram. That's T-O-N-E-B-L-A-Q-U-E, Mike Sharp, M-I-K-E-S-H-A, two R's and two P's. Also, check out my man Chuck Styles with that barber art. Signing off. Yo, this, this event is, a, is amazing. This is actually my first year here. I want to give mad love and respect to Jay Majors. He's one of my barber brothers. Um, everybody out here is handling their barber business. And I, I love where the industry right now is going. We're going to the next level. Barbers are real passionate about their craft. They hungry. They eager to push their uh, skills to the next level. This is where you need to be. In the streets TV, representing hard out here. In the streets. We in the streets. Barbers in the streets, but we handling our business. Barber love. Right in the streets, we signing off. Peace. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, much love. Keep doing it, man.
I thought my life was over. A couple years after that, I found what we call the Barbary industry. And 20 years after that, I find myself in front of you telling my story. There's no excuses in what you do in life. Look at yourself in the mirror and blame yourself for whatever you don't do. Blame yourself for not being in the biggest event of the Super Bowl of the whole industry right now. When they ask you what happened at the J Majors Barbara Expo, you let them know you gotta come next year because that was your loss. At the end of the day, brothers and sisters, family, kids, it is a blessing to be in front of him. It is a blessing to be part of such a great movement. And I want to tell you that I go around and a lot of people say that I'm, I'm very inspiring. You guys inspire me. And I just want you to know that the movement that we have here, the respect, the loyalty, the whatever's been going on for the last couple of years, this arena will demonstrate it tonight. Network while you're here. Introduce yourself. No, meet the next person next to you. Children, mothers, grandmothers, husbands, sisters. This is what this is about. It's a barber expo. Support your vendors, right? Now, before I get any further into, into, into what I'm gonna say, understand this, that at the end of the day, life is what you make it. I don't make excuses for nothing, all right? I'm a paraplegic, I'm 37 years old, and I'm still climbing. Understand that. I'm still climbing. And I'm telling you right now, every day I wake up with my blessings and whatever, whether it's good or bad, I forget about it. Short-term memories that we gotta have. Understand this, we are the product. We are the ones that are the mentors of this industry. We got little kids looking up to us. We have, we have grown-ups that are lost themselves looking up to us. You might not choose to be in the position you are, but guess what, you are. As a professional barber or stylist, that's the position that you put yourself in. So I wanna humbly say thank you for having me. And as I go out there, let's network. Show me, you know, give me your business card. Let me know where you're from. That's the type of thing that brings me blessings. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's GLabobaWheels with a Z at the end. And tag me with a picture. We can communicate. Now, let's not make this any further. There's one man behind this situation. And I, you know, this event, you know, this event that we're doing. J Majors, can anybody get a round of applause for J Majors? I want to I take the time to, to, you know, say thank you, Jay, because I, I really appreciate the time and effort that you have done and put into this. Um, that year, I was in the same event, and I was mind-boggled when I came in and I found the bigger event. I found it a lot more smoother, and it was just like, I want to say personally thank you, Jay, because this is what it is. It's about growing together. I want to thank everybody in here for, for doing what they do. Can you give a round of applause to Jay Majors for doing what he does? What's going on, Connecticut? From the bottom of my heart, I really want to thank you all for being here. I do this for him and my other youngest son. Say what up, everybody. Hi. Louder, louder. Hi. Give it up for my son. You know, four years ago when I when I came up with this, you know, my own Connecticut concept of it, people said, well. Nobody can move to Connecticut, Jay. So do it in Miami. I said, I'm not from Miami. I said, okay. I said, do it in Los Angeles. I said, okay, well, the way my checking is set up, I didn't want to fly out here and stuff. I didn't know the West Coast stuff. I had no sponsorship. I had no help. No one believed in me. Until I brought out some numbers, my first show, right? Then people were like, ah, oh, maybe we want to be involved. So then my second show, I had three vendors. They gave me like $50 each and sold some razors and extras. Then my third show, which was last year, we had about 50 vendors. Now we have over 100 vendors. The Oster Clipper Company stepped up. I got one of my teachers there, Miss Payne Hill. She's my sophomore teacher in class. Big ups to that. I, I'll be here all day shouting out all the people that supported me. My father's son, I'm you know, it wasn't just me behind this. It was all of you guys that made this happen. Now I want to be here all day talking about it, but please support your vendors. I know a lot of you guys were in Polo with Jordan. I don't know how many of you met Mike or Ralph Loren, but 
but you can meet all these guys and shake their hands when you buy from them. So give it up for supporting farmers, y'all. We are going to be doing our speed fan competition. And um, we also have the Boston battle coming up May 18th, the Exotics here battle tour. Curtis is on his way here. Big shout out to Team Exotics. Open a lot of doors for me, a lot of doors for a lot of us. I have a crazy panel right now. This is like usual suspects. Everyone, look up here, man. These are our predecessors. These are all people that have been doing things in this industry for many years. These are competitors that became judges, that became celebrity barbers, just from competing on this very stage. There's too many of them to announce. And there's some people that came from the West Coast, from New York City, and from Miami, and from Massachusetts. And, you know, we're all equal, just like that student is. But a good friend of mine came down, and you guys are familiar with Nomad Barber, have you been following the Nomad Barber? He came all the way down from the UK. Did you come from Chile this time? EvolutionBeats.com Who the hell? 